Hey guys, what's going on? Today it's time for the weekly grind video. It's currently 11 a.m. I gotta go through this as quick as we can, so I will not be doing uh, a full write-up like I typically do, copying and pasting everything into the description. Uh, so just stay tuned for this or go over to dpz.space if you want the actual written version. dpz.space, just where it is, and then under the news section, you can select what category you're looking for, summons, event, that's where I get all my information from, and we go through that. I will be doing the news release video of the JP data download at a different video, so stay tuned for that. I will be talking about that, but not in this video. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Obviously, we're going to start off with the global side. So, global side weekly grind. Uh, obviously, the new Unparalleled Paragon of Hope level is available. This runs until the 27th. We have a lot of time left. We have about, what, six, uh, that's 17, 18, 19 days left? until this ends so you guys have almost three full weeks to take on this event i will definitely be doing this and because i'll start live streaming i've been taking on this event almost every night to get the uh, medals i have not been using dragon stones to reju reju re rejuvenate my stamina so um, i'll be doing this a lot more often remember on this event the piccolo and boost super uh, will nullify gotenks damage reduction skill and increase the damage dealt on him i believe it's like 1.5 time multiplier i can't be certain that's just based off of normal attacks that piccolo has done on him uh, so it's like 600,000, and I think he did like um, 900,000 on a normal attack or something like that. But it is like 1.2 to 1.5 times uh, multiplier. So uh, you can go ahead and utilize one of those guys. It has to be an SSR or higher, though. From this event, obviously the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks Doken Awakens, the base form agility Gotenks Doken Awakens. And again, as I say every week that I mention this, the base form Gotenks are farmable from the Sun Goku and his friends return event, or the Son Goku and his friends are back. Uh, Make sure you get him to Super Tech 10 at least before you Doken Awaken him, unless you don't mind grinding out the Baba Gems to reverse Doken him when that event comes back. I would recommend doing that before you Doken Awaken him. Uh, plus, I don't personally, unless you're not, unless you uh, don't have any more viable units, you could probably just wait and not Doken Awaken them until you get all four new pads unlocked. It's up to you. It depends on what your box is like. Uh, the same thing goes for the strength one. He Doken Awakens from this event, but wait until you get him up to Super Tech 10 before you do that. That event's really easy to farm those Gotenks, so you just utilize it while you can. Um, the, we also have the other variant of the event, the Technique version, where you obviously Doken Awaken the Super Saiyan 3 Technique Gotenks into his other Super Saiyan 3 form. Really good unit still. Really, really good on a Mono Technique team if you have both of them. Then you're only going to probably want to run him on the Mono Technique team. Uh, from that event, you also Doken Awaken the, is the, or we call them the Seal Tanks because he seals supers. When he Doken Awakens, he does Doken Awaken with, um, with those medals into someone who does an attack passive of plus 100%. Really, really good unit. I have mine Super Attack 10, and I was playing with him last night, and he has a lot of crits. He does a lot of damage. I'm going to tell you that on a mono, uh, mono physical super team, he does a lot of damage. Um, you also have this Gotenks over here, which is another Super Saiyan Gotenks that Doken Awakens from the Technique event medals. Uh, so you can do that, but I can say this, and I will say this. Don't feed Elder Kai's into these two. Um, when you go and do your uh, actual summons, these, this uh, Goten and this Trunks over here, um, they both Doken Awaken into Gotenks' Super Saiyan Gotenks'. So, with the same medals from the Technique event. So, you can go feed them in there, and then you can feed them into these guys. You need to Z Awaken them for 100% chance. I'm going over this a little bit more in depth than I typically do on the weekly grind video, just because this event is really is active right now, and there's a lot of farming that you can do to get these characters to Super Attack 10. Um, if you guys are looking for information about Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, he does not have a farmable character. You need to use Elder Kai's on him. Uh, that's only the Super Saiyan 3 variant. Uh, but yeah, you guys can Doken Awaken these into um, the Gotenks' Z Awaken them to uh, level 80 Z Awaken for 100% chance to increase the super attack of the physical one and the strength one. I highly recommend starting with the physical one if you have it. But uh, that's that, guys. That runs, again, until the 27th, so you have about three weeks to grind that out. The other one is the Dragon Ball GT, a hero's legacy, runs until the 31st. That's for the Goku Jr. event. Um, I would recommend at least getting one all maxed out, and you do not need to use potential orbs from, like, the... He's an intelligence unit, so you don't need to use intelligence orbs behind him. The event drops their own specific orbs. The He drops on stage one. You get some cool medals on stage two and three. Stage four drops the medals to Doken Awaken him. Stage five drops the actual orbs to increase his, um, to increase his max stats. Uh, so go ahead and do that. I highly, highly, highly recommend getting him Super Tech 10, all four dupes unlocked. I've done that already, and I'm working on a base form now because they do link pretty well together, minus Super Saiyan. And he is a free-to-play unit, and you can use him in Prime Battle. So if any other Prime Battles come up in the future, he will be a very good unit to run alongside a Super Saiyan variant. I just want to say that. Uh, this one runs until the 31st, so we have a lot of time uh, to go. Um, here we go. The next one is going to be Adventure of Gratitude Begins. This is just the Goku event. Um, this base form Goku is a kid version, and he can, or Goku youth, 
as they call it in game. He could be fed into any of the other Goku youths. You could do that. I would recommend if you're doing that to just go get the SR, Z awaken him to SSR, and then uh, feed him into the other Goku youths. Like for, for instance, the strength one, I believe, is a good one that you get from the World Tournament. And you can go feed him into theirs for a chance to get increase his super attack. You don't need to. You don't want. You don't really need to do that. But if you want to get all your guys to super attack ten, you can. Uh, Monday twelve eighteen is when this ends. So you have about five days left for that to go. Um, he also Doken awakens into his second year anniversary for him with a peace sign because the first one he did holds up number one. This one he's holding up two, uh, two fingers anyway. He Doken awakens with the Bulma and Turtle medals that are available from the World Tournament. That's where you get those medals from. Um, outside of that, this event's just more for getting some stones. Outside of that, I mean, he's a cool unit, don't get me wrong. He's a cool free-to-play unit if you're trying to run a mono free-to-play uh, physical team. But, you know, he's not a he's not a great unit. <laughs> uh, the, the reason is because once he's at Super Attack 5, he does, like, um, attack plus 50%, and he launches uh, supers at 8 or more key, so that's awesome. Uh, anyway, the other one that is here is the Bizarre Rabbit Mob event. Uh, that runs until the 18th, so you have five more days to do that. Uh, this is not going to be a primary on your list. You don't need to. You need, you need to have a Goku Youth card on your team. Uh, the reason why they did this is because we had an anniversary. When you go and you logged in, um, you can get the Goku Youth cards from either Baba Shop. Um, I think you, they, they actually gave us the anniversary. They give us the anniversary ones for free. Uh, but that also, would, you know, it, this should always come alongside of it, just because it drops the Goku Youth card. That way, you could take it on the Rabbit Mob event. Um, it's very. This event's pain in the butt. But Goku Youth are the only ones that do a lot of damage, so you need to bring a Goku Youth card that could actually do a lot of damage to him. Um, but that's yeah, up to you on how you want to go about it. Monster Card turns Key Spheres into useless carrots. It's kind of like the Majin Buu thing. Take on that event. Uh, that allows you to Doken Wake in this Bulma, which if you were on my live stream last night, you would have seen. I just Doken Wake her because I don't really care. I don't use her too much. If I get any dupes of her, uh, I mean, maybe if I get enough dupes, I'll reverse her, but I don't ever plan on feeding orbs into her. Uh, the Bulma Bunny will Doken Awaken from her, so grab those as well. And this Bulma, which I believe these are both from the World Tournament rewards. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure they both are. Uh, they both Doken Awaken because, with those medals. So, you can do that. Again, they're, neither of them are really that great. Um, I think this one over here has a... She, she does stun, this one doesn't stun, right? Um, she seals, so this one stuns, this one seals. It's up to you on how you want to play that. But uh, outside of that, definitely at least grind it out for the orbs. Uh, you don't need to do it. it. I would make it a low priority for you because those Balmos you're never going to really use. Uh, the other one is going to be the Dragon Ball Super Future Saga event. Uh, so this is the one where you can do a whole bunch of grinding for your intelligence and the physical trunks. Uh, Monday, 2 18 2017. This is when it ends, so you have another five days for this one as well. You have, let's see, the notable units. The Stage 4 Trunks is Determination. Um, I think I missed it in the last video that I did for the weekly grind. I'm pretty sure that this the strength one um, will... Actually, you know what? Let's just go over to the wiki real quick. Um, the strength trunks should Doken or uh, be able to feed into the technique trunks that you can summon. Um, I'll show you right now, actually, because I will bring it up. Uh, where are you? So, yeah. This trunks right here feeds into this SSR. He's a summonable SSR. You don't need to Doken wake him. So, just get him the SR, the base SR, this guy right here. From that event, Z awaken him. And you can feed him into this guy before you Doken Awaken him. Uh, he's pretty cool. He's actually a really decent unit. Um, once you get him with the Super Attack 10, and I would still recommend getting all two pads unlocked of him, uh, he will Doken Awaken into a pretty solid unit attack plus 80%, and he raises his attack for six turns. Again, I'm not a big, I'm not the biggest fan of that, but he can be very viable on your team if you don't have good units. Plus, he has some really decent link skills as Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, uh, Dismal Future, Prepared for Battle, and Fierce Battle. So he's a really decent unit, all right? Uh, he only has a 12 key multiplier of 135% of supreme damage, so he's not like a, an S tier unit. But I would give him like a, a, a lower A tier unit because he's definitely someone you could definitely run and he'd be very viable for you. But he would probably be one of those subunits that you're probably not going to guarantee that you're not going to run um, uh, as primary. But anyway, you can grab that out stage 4, Z Awaken them to get them into that trunks. Um, and when you're done with that, uh, I do recommend getting these guys Super Attack 10 and Doken Awakening them. Uh, but. That he's also Doken Awaken into a Super Saiyan Trunks, and this Super Saiyan Trunks feeds, his in, feeds into the physical Trunks that's a support unit for the Super Team, um, or the Intelligence Rage Trunks that's the Orb Changer. So it is a grind, it is a pain to get these medals, but once you get all of those medals, you can Doken Awaken these guys into the Super Saiyans and feed them into the Rage Trunks or the physical Trunks. It's up to you on which one you want to do. I would recommend the Intelligence Trunks first. Um, 
This is the physical trunks that I was talking about, by the way. So his Dokken form here will feed into his base SSR form here. You need to get him Z-Awakened to an SSR, then Z-Awakened, or Dokken Awakened to an SSR, then Z-Awakened at level 80 in order for 100% chance. Um, Vegeta's here as well. He's common pull, but these are the medals you're going to need to Dokken Awaken the Technique Vegeta, God Vegeta. But uh, yeah, it's a cool event, really worth grinding. I definitely recommend you guys taking your time to do that. That runs again for five more days, so I'll probably be doing some grinding either tonight or tomorrow. Um, now moving on to the summons. The Strength Character Exclusive Summons started last night. They run until the 24th. I may summon on that. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Elder Kai's are there, and Broly should be in that banner. Uh, the banner looks like it has some... The Super Saiyan 3s look decent. Plus two Elder Kai's. This Android 18 is just utterly useless in-game. Um, I did a full review on that. She is just utterly useless. She only links well with other Androids. And because she is not... The only time that she's going to deal do decently is if you do like a rainbow leader that doesn't isn't explicit to strength or sorry to uh, extreme units or super units so like a gogeta essentially or the spirit bomb lr goku uh, because then she could actually link with the androids but even on, unless you run her onto like a mono broly team at that point she'd only link with android 17 she's really not that great the other guys are all good though so i could recommend going for this banner it looks like we have what super saiyan 3 goku uh, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan Youth. Oh, okay, cool. Super Saiyan 2 Gohan is really good, the, the strength one. Um, Raditz, Grade 8, we're kind of whack. Majin Buu, SR, Majin Buu, SR. Yeah, those are kind of whack too, but uh, you can get them if you want to. And it looks it looks like a Destined Return Broly SSR who can be awakened to an LR is available in this summon. Yet. So yeah, it's definitely here. Uh, good, by the way, if you guys are wondering why I'm talking about this event, if you are new, the hit is the extreme strength type support unit. So if you have a Janemba team, he's going to be a viable unit for you. Kaba is for the Super Saiyan 4 Goku team. Um, or any strength unit you want anyway. Uh, honestly, just super strength and hit is extreme strength. Uh, next one we're going to talk about, obviously, is the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks banner. It's available till the 27th. You have a couple days left for that. Really good units on here. I did a full review, so I'm not going to go into in depth on this. Uh, just go ahead and summon on it if you want any of these units. Um, there are actually really good units. There are three 120 leads on here. And all the 120 leads are actually really, really good. I would recommend getting them if you don't have them. Uh, the banner has been not been too good to people, but it's been it was good to me. So Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, and Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Uh, and even the Technique go tanks. If you already have yours maxed out with all four Dupes unlocked, just keep them and feed them into the Fizz one so that way you don't have to waste all their guys. But again, that runs until the 27th. You have some time to do that. Uh, this one, the Girl Power Summons is here. It runs until the 16th, um, so don't summon on it. There's nothing. There's no reason whatsoever for you to summon on it at all. They did nothing for it. It's just a guaranteed SSR character. Unless you want a Waifu card, there's no real reason because you're almost never going to run them. I guess you know why you could use them in the Master Roshi event. So if you want one of them, you could throw them into a Master Roshi event uh, so to get more of those turtle shells to drop. But I would not recommend using your stones on that to do that. You know what I mean? Like it's not worth it in my opinion. But it runs until the 16th. So if you do want to summon on it, go for it. Uh, they're just not really that viable. Um, I think there's only like two. I think uh, Videl and Mai are the only two that are halfway decent. Um, the Bulma and the Android 18 and the Pan, I believe, are just all trash. But uh, my opinion, I don't know. I did a review on them a long time ago. I, I'm not going to go over any further. Uh, the dual Dokken Fest thank you summons that are here. Um, well, the thank you summons and the guaranteed. If you guys haven't used your tickets yet, you have only a couple, about another week or two left, week and a half left to do that. So go ahead and do it. You have a chance to get all these different units. I would highly recommend using those before they go away because once you, if you don't use it, you will lose it. Definitely do that. Um, all right, cool. We're jumping onto the JP side now. So for those of you on the JP side, uh, this is the news and events that are running here. We have the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock event. I already went over a, a while ago. It's going to run for another week. You have exactly one week left. It ends on the 20th. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. It actually, yeah, yeah, this is the event. Um, and it also comes with featured units. It's a dual, it's a Dokken Fest. That's exactly what it is. You have the event that runs and the banner that runs that goes until the 20th. The Bardock is a really good unit. With him being out, he reevaluated who the top hitting, hardest hitting units are. And that includes like himself, uh, the Super Saiyan 3 Agility Goku when you get him at level 140. Uh, and I think like the Technique Broly and the Fizz Tanks is like the Fizz Tanks is now the Super Saiyan 3 Fizz Tanks is now one of the hardest hitting units in the game. I think he is a hardest hitting unit, non LR unit in game. Um, we also have the Ten Tenkaichi Budokai uh, or whatever it is. Uh, running until the 15th. Um, I think this is the actual one there. It's going to be starting it up again. This is for the World Tournament. So the World Tournament rewards. I don't know what's going on. I actually haven't been paying attention to the World Tournament. 
Um, it looks like they restarted the World Tournament up again because of all the connection errors. This is where you get the LR, uh, Chiatsu, Tien. I'm not going for it on the JP side, but when it comes to Global, I will. Uh, but And you also have this Gohan who's available. I believe the Gohan is the reward. I don't remember who the actual reward was with this one. I'm pretty sure it was that Gohan. Um, but you also have some other cards like this Tien over here. One of those two was a reward. But either one of, one of them was added to the summons, and the other one was added to... Yeah, let's look at this rewards here. We'll go over. You know, let's go over to the uh, World Tournament rewards real quick, and I'll tell you right now exactly what the reward is. And ranking reward number one. So it is this Gohan. He is the reward. So that's awesome. I really hope they do a Super Saiyan variant of him. Um, the Adventure of Gratitude that I went over is here, so I'm not going to go over it again. It runs until the 26th of December, so you have a little bit of time there, about a week and a half of that. The Monster Rabbit is here on the JP side as well. That runs until the 26th. They usually come out because they coincide with each other because you need that Goku for the event because he's a Goku youth. Uh, the Bulma Genius Battle Prep, for some reason, is running for two full months. So if you're lacking support items on the JP side, she, this is definitely an event for you to run. Go ahead and grab those support items. A lot of Icaruses, a lot of Sensu Beans, just a lot of good items. Uh, that's all that there is to it. Just run it on the hardest level and you get the best item. Uh, the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock event runs until the 20th, as we already talked about. Um, really fun event, definitely do it. I believe like the Frieza clan or something like that is what does some extra damage to him and nullifies his um, uh, his damage reduction skill. So you can go ahead and use that. The super, the Great Sandman event runs until the 14th. This one really just has medals and a Gohan that you can get. It's nothing like too spectacular. Um, you can Doken Awaken this rare Gohan, which is summonable from, or retainable from level 6. You just grind it out on level 6. He'll Doken Awaken into an SR Great Saiyan Man, the Strength variant. The Agility Gohan will Doken Awaken into a Great Saiyan Man. I believe this one goes to an Ultra Rare and he greatly lowers attack. Um, this Videl, the Technique one, and the Strength one, the SRs, will Doken Awaken into a Great Saiyan, well, Great Saiyan Man 2, technically. So you can go ahead and grind those out. Uh, they're definitely not the greatest units in the world, but you can use them in the Broly event for extra damage because they I believe they have Blazing Battle. That runs until the 14th, so you have one more day to grind. Well, the end of today because it ends at midnight Pacific time. So you have like 12, well, probably 14, 15 hours left for that to run. Um, the next one is the story reprint Resurrection of F is here, so go ahead and grind that out if you would like to. It runs until the 14th, so that again ends tonight. Uh, this has all the Frieza medals that are involved with the Frieza medals, so you can Doken Awaken all your Frieza into Golden Frieza. All the Golden Frieza's Doken Awaken into an SSR, and those SSRs do not need to be Z-Awaken to increase the super attack of the Golden Frieza, the Technique Golden Frieza, 100%, so you don't need to Z-Awaken them. You just feed them into that Golden Frieza for 100% chance. Uh, I would recommend doing this one over here for the... This one that you can't read in Japanese is for the Mecha Frieza. Ten of each medal and three of the Golden Frieza medals will allow you to Doken Awaken your Intelligence Mecha Frieza from the Strike event to a Golden Frieza. They're farmable. Everything's farmable. You can easily super attack ten your, your Technique Golden Frieza. Highly recommend doing that. Um, there's also some good uh, items over here. You have... Well, Videl kind of stinks and Android 18 stinks. This Bulma and this uh, Marin are definitely worth grinding out from this event. Highly, highly recommend doing that. I don't know what levels they're from, though, because it doesn't show me here. But go ahead, check it out on the wiki, and you can find out what levels they are, and go ahead and grind them out. The Whis item is fantastic as well. Um, but yeah, the next one, we only have two more events to talk about. This is the SSR Fixed um, and Boys Edition gotcha, I guess. I don't know what the heck that even means. Um, it looks like this is for the World Tournament summons, so the World Tournament SSR summons are here. Uh, that runs for a while. The LR Piccolo is added to the summon pool, so you can go ahead and grab it. Uh, Buff Coup, Bardock, there's a whole bunch. The Dragon Ball summons had uh, the Tien with four arms and Chiaotzu, who I hate. <laughs> uh, Master Roshi, uh, uh, Go uh, Goku with the Great Ape form. You have a whole bunch of really good units here. I highly recommend going and summoning with those tickets that you get. If you're on the global side, like me, I am waiting for all these to uh, for us to get caught up in terms of the World Tournament because they've been adding a lot of cards to the tournament uh, summon pool just for the hell of it. So I would recommend at least wait, either waiting, or if you don't have any of them, maybe summoning for it. But that runs until the 26th, it's your call. Uh, last but not least, Super Saiyan 3 Gacha is still running. It runs until the 20th, you have 7 days left for that. Any of these Super Saiyan 3 units, you have the, uh, a lot of these are actually really good. Um, everything on here, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, this one's really good for the Super Saiyan 4 Goku team. Oh, that's this one, actually. This Goku gets a Doken Awakening, this Vegeta gets a Doken Awakening, and this Vegeta GT, Super Saiyan 3, is a beast. He is a real beast. Uh, this is the Strength Goku, which is actually a really good Goku as well. Um, and you have this the Vegeta. He's not the Dokkan variant of Vegeta, it's just the Technique one. Um, he's really good also. So, uh, if you don't have any Super Saiyan 3s and you end up managing to pull a Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, you might want to consider summoning on that event. 
But uh, anyway, guys, that's it. That's my 20-minute ramble of the weekly grind of all the events on the global and the JP side between summons and events. Hope that was informative for you. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you're new here. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. All right, I'll catch you all later. Peace.